Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to create MailerLite subscriber from contact form 7 submission. So let's say that I'm collecting new leads through contact form 7, which is a WordPress plugin. And here every time I receive a new submission, then this particular lead should be added as a subscriber in my MailerLite account, which is an email marketing tool. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate contact form 7 with MailerLite and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be contact form 7 and my action application will be MailerLite. Now to understand how you can automate and integrate this entire process, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box has appeared and here you have to name your workflow. Now here you can give any random name. Now here I'm going to name this workflow as create MailerLite contact from contact form 7 submission. So here I'm going to click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of our trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get a response on WhatsApp or SMS about the amount debited. Now this happens with the help of automation. In such a case, my trigger will be the payment gateways and my action application will be any application with the help of which I can send WhatsApp or SMS notification. Now let's come to our use case. So here my trigger application will be contact form which is a WordPress plugin, so contact form 7. The trigger event here will be new form submission. Now here you can see we have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting contact form 7 and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to copy this. And now as I take you down, so here we have the help text given. So please read this carefully. Now let me show you exactly what you have to do. So this here is my WordPress account. Now within this WordPress account, we have contact forms. Now here it is written that you have to install and activate this plugin. So I already have done that. Now click on the edit option for the particular form in the form section in WordPress. So here we have this particular form. Let's say the name of the form is contact form. So here we have to click on edit. Now here we have to go to webhook. And here we have to integrate send to webhook. Now we have to paste the URL that we have just received. So I'm going to copy this, go back here and paste the same here. Then we have the send mail option. So if you want to send mail, then you can check this option. Now I'm going to go down and click on save. So as I do that here, we can see that our form is all set. And now here it is written, click on the capture webhook response and then do a test record so that the webhook response can be captured here. So here we can see it is already waiting for webhook response. Now we have to do a test submission. For that, I'm going to take you back. And now you can see this is the short code of the form. So I'm going to copy this. Once copied, we have to go to pages, then we have to go to add new. And as we do that, here we have to give a title to this form and then here we have to paste the short code. So let's say that here I'm going to give a title which is new contact form. Now as soon as I publish this, then you will see that this particular contact form will appear something like this. Now let's fill up this form. Let's say the first name here is smart. The last name is user one. This here is the email address. And now here I'm going to add the mobile number. Let's click on submit. And as we do that here, we can see that our form has been submitted. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, here we can see we have received the response. So this here is the email address of the person, mobile number, last name and first name. Now, once we have received this, with the information we have received, I want to create a contact in MailerLite. The action application here will be MailerLite Classic. Now here, our action event will be to add or update subscriber in the group. Now I'm going to click on connect as I do that here, Pabli Connect wants to connect with MailerLite Classic account. I'm going to select add new connection since we are setting up this connection for the first time. 
Now to set up this connection, we need this API key. And how can we receive this? First, you have to log into your MailerLite Classic account. Now, I already have done that. So here, I'm going to click on this hyperlink developer API. And as we do that, here is the API key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pavli Connect, paste the same here. Now, I'm going to click on Save. So as we do that, here we can see that the connection between MailerLite Classic and Pavli Connect is all set. Now here we have to fill in this information. So first of all, we need the group ID. So you can see a lot of groups have already been created here. Let me show you the same in MailerLite. So here I'm going to take you to subscribers. And now within subscribers, you can see we have a lot of groups created already. Let's say that I want the subscriber to be added to new leads group. So here I'm going to take you to Pavli Connect. And here I'm going to look for new leads group so here it is then we have the email address of the person so we are going to map the information how so as i click on this you can see the previous step here and this here is the email address of the person now this method with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time your workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration had I written the same information manually, then even when this workflow was running in real time with some new information, it wouldn't have taken that. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. Next here we have to map the first name. So again, I'm going to click on this. This here is the first name. Then we need the name of the company. So now this is not a required field. So if you have the information, you can always add it here. I have the last name, so I'm going to add it here. Then again, we have the name of the country, city, phone number. So let's add the phone number. And now I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response according to which now this particular user must be created as a subscriber in MailerLite. So I'm going to take you to MailerLite now. Let's go to subscribers. And now here I'm going to go to unconfirmed subscribers so here you can see smart user one at pablitudes.com we have received this person now as of now it is showing that it is an unconfirmed subscriber so what i'm going to do i'm going to take you to the email address of the person so here you can see we have received the response so i'm going to click on this and here i'm going to confirm my email so as soon as the user confirms, now I'm going to take you back to MailerLite and here I'm going to quickly refresh this page. Let's go to confirmed subscribers, active subscribers, and you can see that we have got our active subscriber over here. So this basically means that our integration is a success. Now I'm going to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to the form. So let's say the first name here is strange the last name here is user123 then we have the email address which is strange user123 at pavlitudes.com and here we have the phone number now i'm going to click on submit so as soon as we do that here we can see that our form has been successfully sent now i'm going to take you to MailerLite to see if this particular subscriber has been added here so i'm going to take you to unconfirmed subscribers and yes, here we can see that this subscriber has been added here, but it is right now unconfirmed. So I'm going to take you to the email address of the person. Let me take you to the inbox. And here we have received this mail. So I'm going to confirm the email address. And as I do that, here we can see that a confirmation has been accepted. Now I'm going to take you back to MailerLite. And this time I'm going to take you to active subscribers. And you can see that this subscriber has been added here as an active subscriber. So this means that our integration is a complete success, taking you back to Pavli Connect. Let's quickly understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy two-step integration process where the trigger is contact form 7. The event is new form submission. The action application is MailerLite Classic. And the event is add or update subscriber in the group. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pavli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pavli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pavli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. 
If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.